Welcome back to An Hour in Golden Sunshine, the Animal Healers series. We are officially on the root chakra. The animal of the root chakra is a rabbit. <laughs> and I picked a rabbit because they know a thing or two about laying down the groundwork and building a safe home for all of their family and friends and there's just so much, so many reasons as to why they connect to this chakra. But before I get into that, let me introduce you to me. I'm Castalia Theo, welcome back to my channel. And I do a bunch of spiritual stuff and there's so much in the works and I'm, I have so many things going on, so many projects. And uh, if you wanna know what they're about, uh, hit that subscribe button and let me know what animals I should do on my next go around of the chakras. I am hoping to do another go around some point in the future, we'll see. Um, but let me know in the comments what other animals you think belong to other chakras and I'll check in with their group soul and see what I can do about that. Um, but the group soul that I want to talk about today is the rabbits. And it was kind of strange when I got that message that rabbits are connected to the root chakra, but it makes sense based on what the root chakra is connected to. The root chakra is very much connected to safety, um, grounding yourself, um, really the roots of everything, the root of it all, if you will. So that's what it's really connected to, your safety um, and your, your environment. And um, a lot of times if you're uprooted a lot and you're moving around a lot and you don't have like one place to call home, your root chakra can be out of balance. And a lot of animals that are connected to the root chakra do work with ley lines. And ley lines are these non-visible lines on earth that are connected to a lot of things. They're connected to you, they're connected to your emotions, your feelings, they're also connected to negativity and the polarity. And they're connected to so many things. They're connected to um, the shifting of dimensions and there's a lot with the ley lines and a lot of the animals connected to the root chakra do do work with ley lines as their sole purpose. And that's why rabbits connect to the root chakra because they do a lot of work with the ley lines. Um, the ley lines are found underground. So rabbits do that. Um, rabbits are of the pure positive polarity and they do that job of clearing ley lines. Um, there are other animals that go underground that are not of pure positive polarity. A lot of these animals are called the gray area animals where they are necessary while we're in this dimension of earth. However, when we raise up in frequency, they will just cease to exist, but they are not of the negative polarity and they do not cause any harm to us. And there is not an over amount of them running around and just multiplying randomly. Habits are not gray area animals. They are on the positive polarity. So that's important to keep in mind. And if you would like me to talk more about what animals are on the gray area side and what animals are on the positive and what animals are on the negative, I can do that. Let me know in the comments. There is a group of beings of higher consciousness on the other side of the veil that I have a book coming out about and um, they taught me everything I know about the animal kingdom. And so if you want to hear more about that, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to talk about it. I'll probably talk about it some point next year, but I think this is the very last video of 2021 that I will be uploading and recording. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, back to the point though, rabbits and the root chakra are connected. The root chakra is how you stay safe, how you stay grounded. It is the chakra that is most connected to earth and your physical body, as opposed to the crown chakra, which is very much connected to your soul and the metaphysical. And you need to have both because of the polarity. There are other chakras that we have, the earth star chakra and um, some other ones. Um, and I will talk more about those next year. I will do my deep dive research and find an animal and plop them onto this series next year. Um, but right now it's very important that people go rise to root, root to rise and um, heal that first before they start working on the other ones. Um, but the root chakra is your most physical chakra. It is 
it is the center of your physical being and if it is out of alignment like it is because you are physically not feeling safe or out of alignment in a state of fear really everything that causes all the upper chakras to go out of balance will go and fall to the root chakra and cause you to feel unsafe um like these three the the heart the solar plexus and the sacral a lot of fear gets harbored in these three chakras and a lot of the times while there are so many cords and attachments in the sacral a lot of the the attachments to the negative polarity can be found in the root chakra as well and that's why you need an animal that can clear the ley lines on the earth and of you and all the other energetic ley lines um to heal that because you don't <laughs> you, with all the change happening next year it is very very important that you are on the positive polarity and that you are very aware of what's going on in the world so when you are when your root is out of balance and you are unsafe and you are being trapped in the negative polarity you can't really see the truth of things because of all of those um hyper negative emotions like anger fear rage um I th in greed and gluttony and desire and all that stuff like when you are there you are you are not in full alignment with the rest of your um rest of your body system i know that the root chakra is is the chakra of your physical body and it needs to be in alignment in an alignment with the chakra of your spiritual body with the chakra well, the chakra of your spiritual body it's really the third eye that is the chakra of your spiritual body the chakra of your mental body the chakra of your emotional body the chakra of your physical body um and all that jazz those all need to be in alignment and there are chakras connected to the bodies and everything is super super connected and um i'm going to prove that by talking about the rabbit group soul and how they are essentially an embodiment of the root chakra and then you will see when we go deep deep down the rabbit hole how much everything is truly connected the rabbit group soul was created by the creator as some beings that can help clear the ley lines yes i already mentioned this part of their sole purpose the majority of their sole purpose is to clear the ley lines the energetic ley lines and just clearing the roots and they do live underground because of that and they can sense energy. Rabbits can sense energy. They can, they 100% can. And really their natural state is um, digging for the truth. And when you are trying to create your safe place, you need to be digging for the truth as well. And to create a safe place, you need to understand and accept the truth. Because if you are always in a state of doubt, and I'm, I'm getting the common theme of doubt throughout these three lower chakras. If you are living in a state of doubt, you are not living in a state of peace and serenity, um, which is why it's so important. And rabbits dig for anything. They dig for the truth. They dig to uproot things. They dig to bring things to the surface. And that is what you would do when you're trying to create your safe place. You want to understand what is causing you distress and you want to rise it to the surface. And with the big change energy happening in 2022, a lot of things are going to be coming to the surface. And if the rabbits can help you identify that in yourself, by the time things are coming to the surface in 2022, you will be ready to accept it and be open to receiving it because you've already experienced it for yourself. And what causes people to, when things come to the surface, for them to be in this state of distress and they don't know what to do is because they haven't experienced that happening to themselves. And because of that, when it happens on a global state, they are not prepared and they don't know how to react to things coming to the surface that they weren't expecting or maybe they were expecting, they just didn't know how. And it causes this unsafe energy and this out of balance nature. And a lot of balancing is found in the root chakra. You know, if you are not balanced, if you're, everything is out of whack, um, including your hormones, including your spiritual body, like this is your root chakra is everything is out of whack, you are out of balance, you are being uprooted, it's out of alignment and it's blocked. We think about the rabbit group soul, we have to identify what they were like pre, post, during Atlantis, because this is where this all goes back to, because the inevitable goal is to get you 
to a fifth dimensional state so that the earth can rise up in the fifth dimensional energy and that it can work its way back to golden status. So let's talk about that. The rabbit group, Soul, they did exist during Atlantis, but they existed in a very, very small way. They were just kind of there creating space. And by creating space, I mean, during the age of Atlantis, a lot of beings from beyond the veil made their way across the veil and they needed space to, to take up, not like a place to live. Like, yeah, people lived in like dwellings, but it was more of just an area that belonged to them. And so the rabbits were creators in that way that they helped dig and create space. And if anything, during the age of Atlantis, they would be more associated with the sacral chakra because they did a lot of creation and they do do a lot of creation. They breed a lot. Um, but a lot of creation that they do now is more associated to the family energy and the family energy can be found in the root chakra. The friendship and romantic energy is found in the sacral chakra, but a lot of what the rabbits do is for the familial energy, which is very heavily tied to the root chakra. And they did that then too. That didn't change. When Atlantis fell, their purpose just changed a little bit more because now there are these ley lines and there's the polarity and things need to be checked on. And so that's what they do. And a lot of the times they do come as messengers to you and they come and visit your property. And <laughs> if they sense some sort of negative aura, they will dig and look for it. So this is why people think that rabbits are destructive. Um, they're not destructive. It's if they sense some negative energy, they are looking for a way to cleanse it. And they cleanse it energetically just by digging through the lines. And so you know, they can't help but if you planted carrots there, like they're doing their job. Um, and they're gonna do it regardless. And they really, they breed a lot now more than they ever did in the past not just because of the familial energy, but because of the fact that they're trying to keep up with the physical man manifestations of negativity. And they're trying to keep up with how the world is getting trapped in the negative polarity. They're also trying to keep up with the fact that we are in this fight to this energetic fight to get to fifth dimensional energy, to get to the new golden age. And now more than ever is the time where we need this, this cleansing, we need this clearing. And so that's why during, you know, this time that we're all alive, they're breeding a lot. It's because there needs to be more bunnies and rabbits out there digging and clearing the ley lines and checking in on the polarity and sensing the energy. That's the best way to describe what their sole purpose is. They are very connected to these beings called the joy bringers. And so are the dog group soul. And if you wanna hear me talk more about that, um, go ahead and check out the previous video about the dog group soul. Um, it'll be linked up here. <laughs> so you can go and click on it and watch that. But the dog group soul and the rabbits and also the parrots, I'll link the parrot video too um, from the throat chakra, are very highly associated with these beautiful beings called joy bringers. And joy bringers exist um, well, like on both sides of the veil and I'll talk more about them in the future and they're in that special book that I've already mentioned. Um, and I'll talk about them so much more in the next year. These joy bringers bring joy and they bring happiness and they do that through a lot of times now through animals and uh, parrots and dogs and rabbits are animals that they use for that. Um, it's really because, mm, I don't know how to, it's really because people don't feel safe around these beings on the other side of the polarity yet because they don't know the truth about them. And that, again, it's, it's this unsafe nature, not feeling and not knowing the truth connected to the root chakra. It's there. And um, that's why it's really important to check in with your chakras before learning about a bunch of new beings. And that's why I'm doing this. Uh, to get back on track, the rabbit group soul, they also bring little, they bring joy, they bring life, they bring happiness and they bring abundance. And they're a symbol of, of the familial energy, which is what you feel safe in. And I think that 
I know that, I know that family is, is definitely more than what we think it is. <laughs> it's more than just our biological family. It's the energy of family. And the rabbit group soul understands that. And the rabbit group soul can help you in finding your soul family. It's very important to do that. Um, because it's not always the family you were born with. And you can connect to the rabbit group soul to learn all about that <laughs> as well. I had a moment um, while recording this where I felt like they wanted to say something. So I'm going to let them speak through me. And really what I have been doing is I have been connecting to them and getting their messages and then re-relaying them. And occasionally they come through and speak through me. Um, but the rabbits want to speak right now and they want to just share something. Um, they, they are very heavily tied in the miscommunication of things. Um, like these beings on the other side of the veil that, um, there is a lot of miscommunication about them that I am working to fix. And the rabbit group soul is a part of their, their, there's so much miscommunication and there's so much miscommunication in the world. And to, to identify a miscommunication about an animal, um, you can start to see it um, in the world. When we talk about the owls and a lot of people think that they're associated to death and negative things when really their entire purpose is to cleanse the earth of the physical manifestations of negativity you can see how people created this false image about animals that were meant to help us um and you can see that happening in taking away the true voice of the parrots um people did that by locking them up and um with elephants you can see that there is so much hurt in beings that are super super empathic and super super connected to your inner child and super into their inner child and to the the emotional body you can see that people are going and destroying their way of life you can see that in in butterflies when people just think that oh it's this just this one thing that happens when in reality they are messengers from the from the whole, like from the other side of the veil, they are connected to change and they're a symbol for change and with so much change happening, they are needed now more than ever, even if they're not an animal and you don't think that they have a soul in that way, but all animals have souls and forgetting that, that dogs aren't toys, like people treat them like toys, people treat them like human, but they, they have this whole deeper purpose and you can see again how a lot of this miscommunication is coming from people who don't fully understand things or maybe they do and they're just trying to, to make it this other thing to better benefit them. And you can see it with the lions as well, like they are, they're so, the story is so much deeper than, than what we think, than what we know so much deeper and you just have to you just have to look for it and when we talk about the rabbits like i can feel this in my throat chakra this is like <laughs> when we talk about the rabbits people think that they're destructive people also think that squirrels are destructive as well um but squirrels are not a gray area animal <laughs> they're not um chipmunks are but squirrels are not a gray area animal. They are, they're on the positive polarity, even if you don't think that they are. And things that you wouldn't expect to be on the negative polarity probably are. They definitely are. I can, like, I mean, there's so much that we don't know because it's not shared with us. And this has to do with safety because the past year, two years, year? when COVID started, okay, when the pandemic started. Since then, the energy of the root chakra for everybody and for Earth has been knocked off balance and people are trying to find safety again. And safety isn't having a place to live, okay, because you could have a place to live but not feel safe there. Okay, safety is being, is feeling safe pure safe where you are not worried you're not in a state of fear you are grounded in your own energy and you are in control of your destiny you're in control of your life 
and in this uncontrolled, like this, this whole, the entire world right now. It's so unpredictable. And so what the rabbits really want to share is that understanding miscommunication is the best way for you to start to feel safe. There's a lot of miscommunication and creating a story about a rabbit destroying a property when their purpose is to destroy negativity on the ley lines. The rabbits didn't get a chance to, to speak their side because nobody's connecting to their group soul because people forget that they have a soul. And it feels like next year is going to be a fight for our souls. And this is the perfect time to start working on your soul. Because in order to feel safe and have a root chakra that is in alignment, all your other body systems need to be in alignment. You need to accept your past and heal from it and learn from it. You need to have good mental health, which it feels like some people, especially younger kids, their mental health is so damaged right now. And that isn't healthy. And people don't really acknowledge it, even when they pretend to. Okay, you need to have good emotional health. And when the world is in a state of fear, it's really hard to have good emotional health or mental health. Physical health, you need to, you know, you need to check in with your physical body, all right? Because you only have one life in this body, in the body that you're currently living in. So, and then your spiritual body. Our souls are what make us who we are. Soul, soul energy, and souls connecting with one another and understanding one another will create peace. There's a lot of negativity. And the rabbits would like to give you some affirmations to help. So, typically I give an affirmation to connect to the group soul, and I will. I'll give those first, but there are some other affirmations that the rabbits would like to share. So first, I ask the rabbit group soul to help clear the ley lines so that we may rise to fifth dimensional energy. Next, I ask the rabbit group soul to heal, balance, and align my root chakra. Those are pretty self-explanatory as to why you would want them. Um, and just, I connect to the rabbit group soul, I ask the rabbit group soul for help. Um, what the rabbit group soul would like to give you is some affirmations to keep you safe. So, I am safe, and I know who I am. I know what I am. I know who I am. I know what I am. I am safe. Nobody can tell me what to believe. I know what's best for me. I know what's best for me. I am in control as to whether or not I feel safe. If I do not feel safe, I will make it known and I will find a way to create a space where I am safe. If I do not feel safe, I will communicate that. If I do not feel safe, I will communicate that. I am grounded in my own energy. All the decisions that I make from here on out are my own. Are my own thoughts, are my own opinions. The rabbits would like to share that if you aren't fully aware of what is yours and what is somebody else's when it comes to opinions, sit down and evaluate. Because chances are, an opinion that wasn't really yours to begin with is that opinion that is making you feel unsafe. And once you remove that, your root chakra will be in alignment. Um, that's all that's left from the rabbit groove soul. This has been a fun little moment down the rabbit hole. Um, and I sincerely hope that this helps you in some way. Um, there's a lot of change coming and we are in control as to whether or not it is positive or negative. You can make that decision. You have the choice because that's, that's one thing that, that these beings on the other side of the veil that are overlooked that I'll talk more about in the future believe in, and that is free will. 
And that is also something that the rabbit group soul believes in. That, that choice, because they made the choice to breed more and have more physical forms here on Earth to help the polarity. And we can make the choice to connect to the animal kingdom and ask for their help. And we can make the choice to ask any beings beyond the veil for their help. Because we might need it. We really might need it. And just that concept of choice. When you make a decision that is truly coming from your belief system, you will feel safe in that choice. Even if the entire world is telling you that it's wrong. Because guess what? There's a lot of people on Earth. Chances are you are not the only person with a certain opinion or a certain belief or with a certain choice. And to find your like-minded community, you must first find safety and ground yourself in your own energy.